What's going on once again everyone, MonkeyDo22 back again for another video and this time I thought we could take a little bit of a look at Disney Plus here on the Xbox One. Now of course Disney Plus came out today, November 12th, 2019 here in the US. It's also available in Canada, Australia, New Zealand and the Netherlands. It will be releasing in other countries uh, as time progresses. I do know that in the UK, France, Germany, Spain and Italy it will be releasing on March 31st, 2020. Uh, prices, promotions vary, of course, by region, uh, but in the U.S. right now, it is $6.99 a month or $69.99 a year. So here we are on the Xbox One dashboard. Of course, this is the demo of the new Xbox One dashboard that could potentially be coming out later this year. But basically, to find the Disney Plus app, I already have it installed, but we would head on over into the Xbox Store. And then you just want to go down into Search. And you'll want to search for Disney Plus. Now, alternatively, you could just search through the app section as well. But uh, the easiest way to do it is just to search Disney Plus. Look, I just did DI and there it is right here. Disney Plus. You want to go ahead and click on that icon. And then it'll give you the option to install. Of course, I've already pre-installed the app. But now we can go ahead and check it out by just hitting launch. And here we go. It takes you into the main menu for Disney Plus, the best stories in the world, all in one place. Everything from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and Nat Geo. You can go ahead and start a free trial if you'd like. It's only $6.99 a month. I, of course, did sign up for the three-year plan through the D23 promotion. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just log into my account. But if you wanted to start a free trial, you would go ahead and press A here on the free trial. And it will take you into the screen to enter in your email and agree to continue you would accept all the agreement policies and all of that good stuff. And then you would go ahead and proceed through that free trial. Like I said, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and skip through this step. And we'll go straight to the menu. And here we are loading into Disney Plus right here on the Xbox One. Of course, it's got a couple of different uh, tiles here. So you can see the main programs that they have, which is Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and Nat Geo. Of course, they've got all the different Disney originals. You can see it as a heads up list. Similarly, like you would find in Netflix, you've got the recommended section for you. You've got your hit movies. You've got your continue watching. So I've already done a little bit of a tour to kind of see a little bit how this works so that I could explain a little bit better for you. They have the trending section here. Of course, they have the Simpsons. Every single episode in the series is here in the Simpsons. Of course, you have out of the vault movies that you may not have seen before seen in a while a whole bunch of different great movies here out of the vault inspired by true stories they've got a couple of sections here you've also got your ultra hd and hdr sections all of that good stuff is right here if you are viewing on an ultra hd or hdr compatible uh, tv or uh, monitor as the case may be you'll have all those different movies right here that feature all of those great features of course you got your disney channel favorites you can scroll through here you can see some stuff like high school musical phineas and ferb you got zombies right there. You've got Good Luck Charlie, Hannah Montana, Jesse, Camp Rock, a whole bunch of different great uh, old classic Disney TV shows right here. Then, of course, you got your musical sections. The one thing that's kind of interesting is there's some movies on here that I may not expect because uh, they're not necessarily Disney uh, per se, but they might be like touchstone pictures. So you, that's also a part of Disney. So with that, you might see things like uh, Sister Act, Sister Act 2. Uh, things of that nature, like Camp Nowhere, that was another one uh, that you might see on the, the Disney Plus here. Uh, and of course, you've got a couple of different sections here. I'm not going to waste all the time going through all of them, but there's a lot of fantastic choices and selections here uh, that they do break down in the categories just to kind of help you get a good start to kind of see what uh, you might be able to find here. Of course, if you scroll all the way over to the left here, you have the search function. You've got the home, which is where we are right now. We've got our watch list, just like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video. You've got all those different watch lists that you can go ahead and select a movie. And you can add it to your watch list. So let's say, for example, we wanted to watch Zootopia later. We can press A on Zootopia. It'll go ahead and bring us into the menu where it's going to show us uh, all the different features about the movie. It'll show us the runtime of an hour and 48 minutes. A little bit about the movie. And if we wanted to go ahead and add it to our watch list, we'd go ahead and press A on that plus button. And there we go. If you were to scroll down, it would show you some more suggested movies. Uh, some of the extras you may be able to find with that particular movie. That's pretty great. As well as more details about the movie, such as the release date, director, ratings, things of that nature. So as we back up to the main menu over here, 
we'll go ahead and take a look. And as we can see, if we press A on our watch list, we have that watch list right here. Continue on down, we have the movie section right here. So if we touch on the movies, we can search by featured all movies A to Z and a bunch of different categories right here. I love looking at the all up A to Z and you're gonna wanna do this because being at this, this is a brand new service. There's a whole bunch of different movies that you can choose from and look at. Everything from 10 Things I Hate About You, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Adventures of Huck Finn, Ichabod and Mr. Toad. There is so many great movies that are in Disney Plus right now. I cannot recommend it enough because some of these movies, like you, most people haven't seen these in a long time, if at all. And a lot of these are in high definition as well. Uh, so this is the first time some of these movies that really going to be mainstream that you're going to see in HD. Uh, everything from here's Blank Check. We've got Bolt. We've got Brave Little Toaster here. Uh, Brink. I don't think I've ever seen that one before in my life. I don't know if I'll be checking that one out or not. Uh, Camp Nowhere. This was one of my guilty pleasures growing up. Uh, we've got Captain America, Civil War. You've got Cars, Castaway Cowboy. I have no idea what this one is. It ought to be an interesting one. Uh, moving on down the list, you've got everything from like Chronicles of Narnia. You've got Cowbells, The Country Bears, Cool Runnings. You got D2, The Mighty Ducks. You've got D3, Davy Crockett. You've got some older Disney classics in here that you might not have expected. And some of them you may not have seen for a while. Maybe you've never seen them at all. So there's some great ones here to check out. Uh, I definitely touch on some of them if I see them down the list that I highly recommend. One should be coming up fairly soon that I'm a huge fan of that I just think everybody should see. Like, here's one, DuckTales, the movie, Treasures of the Lost Lamp. Fantastic. If you're a Nickelodeon fan and you like Doug, Doug's first movie that was a Disney release, you definitely want to check that one out. Scrolling down the list a little bit more, you've got some good stuff like Flubber here with Robin Williams. Great movie. Loved that one. You've even got some of the modern classics, of course, like Frozen, G-Force. If you can go, go back and do the throwbacks with Brendan Fraser, you got George of the Jungle here. George of the Jungle. You got the Grace Mouse, Great Mouse Detective. I love this one. This was a good one. The greatest game ever played. If you're a fan, if you're a fan of golf movies, I highly recommend this one. Uh, this is about the uh, amateur golfer Francis we met, who uh, went out and uh, won the U.S. Open. It's a fantastic movie. Loved it. Um, continuing down the list here, Heavyweights, another one of my favorites from the '90s. Loved this one. You've got Hocus Pocus here. You know, it's a little past Halloween, but hey, you know, better late than never. Who doesn't want to see, like, another movie with Bette Midler? <laughs> and it, I mean, she's just so fantastic in the movie. But you've even got stuff like Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Home Alone 3. These weren't exactly movies uh, that were Disney, uh, but, uh, you know, they're great movies nonetheless. Homeward Bound, highly recommend these movies. I love those, especially the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Blew Up the Kid, and Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. I've never seen Honey, I Blew Up the Kid in a streaming service anywhere. And uh, here it is right here in Disney Plus. So scrolling down the list, you've got even more stuff like Inspector Gadget. You've got the Iron Man's. You've got Iron Will. You've got Jack. Another one. This was an underrated movie that Robin Williams did. It was a really great movie. It's a, a movie where basically he plays a kid who grows up so fast, or at least his body grows up so fast. But he's still mentally the age of a kid. And so you kind of get to see him go through some of those motions uh, as a kid living in an adult body. It's it's an interesting movie. I really do like that one. Um, continuing down the list here, you've got some stuff with Tim Allen, Jungle to Jungle. you got the Jungle Books. Kazam. Oh, man. Shaq is here. Holy cow. Um, yeah, going down the list here again, you got Life with Mikey. This was a Michael J. Fox movie that most people really didn't see. I actually kind of liked this one. He's basically like a talent agent for a bunch of kids. And uh, he kind of basically finds this kid off the side of the streets in New York. And uh, it's kind of a rags to riches kind of story for the kid, but uh, great one there. Continuing down the list, you got Maleficent, you've got Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins Returns, bunch more Mickey stuff here. You got the Three Musketeers. Here's the first Mighty Ducks movie. You might have been wondering where was the first one. Well, there it is, right there. They didn't call it D2 or D3 or D1. They just called it the Mighty Ducks. That's why you find it down here. Miracle. If you're a hockey fan, best movie about the 1980s uh, Olympic gold medal uh, United States team. Fantastic. Loved it. You got the Monsters University. You've got Mr. Magoo. You've got Milan. You've got Muppets. You've got my favorite Martian. I mean, who doesn't want to see Jeff Daniels and Christopher Lloyd in that one? That's a pretty good one. Um, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of great movies down here. Um, I just keep scrolling down the list. You've even got the old Parent Trap and the new one with Lindsay Lohan. Uh, you've got the Pete's Dragon, Pinocchio. You've got Pirates of the Caribbean. So many great movies. 
just keep going down the list. You're going to find so many that you may not have seen or even thought of. Here is one I wanted to touch on, The Rocketeer. Highly recommend people check this movie out. This is such a great action movie. Great for kids, great for families, all audiences. Really, really loved this one. Same with thing with The Rookie, and it's based off a true story The Rookie is. That's a good one. It's a good baseball movie, uh, if that's your thing. Or The Sandlot. Hey, I mean, everybody loves The Sandlot. And we're getting into Christmas season, so there you go. You got some Santa Claus, Santa Claus 2, Santa Claus 3, the Santa Buddies, the Santa Paws, all those different good stuff right here. And then, of course, here's some of the Touchstone movies like Sister Act, Sister Act 2. You even got the Simpsons movie in here because, like I said, you've got the Simpsons in all of the episodes. You've even got the movie here to check that out as well. And then, of course, you got all the Star Wars stuff going down here because we're getting into the S's. So you've got the entire trilogy here. You've got some of the uh, the spin-off Lego movie stuff, the Lego Star Wars stuff. Um, yeah, so many, so many great movies here. Um, I, I'm honestly going to be spending so much time watching a whole lot of these again that I haven't seen in the longest time. And uh, I'm super excited to check all that out. So, yeah, we're pretty much at the bottom of the list. Oh, here's Willow. Willow is one that most people probably haven't seen. And it's definitely one that I recommend. Um, yeah, I, don't, I won't even spoil it. It's definitely one that you should check out, though, if you like the whole kind of Lord of the Rings kind of stuff here. So there you go. Um, yeah, so we're at the bottom of the list here from the movies. We'll take a quick peek here at the television series and see what's all here uh, for everyone to enjoy. We'll go ahead and move into the all series A to Z. There's not a whole lot of series here that I've noticed by scrolling through the list, at least not as movies, not as many as movies. But, of course, you got to remember, you're getting the entire series uh, then we look here. So you've got stuff like Bonkers here. You've got uh, Darkwing Duck, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. You've got the Big Hero 6 shorts, the TV series they did. You've got Doc McStuffins. My niece is really into that. The Elena of Avalor, that's here. You've got Girl Meets World. You've got uh, the new DuckTales series right here, um, right, right up here. And uh, we've even got some Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Uh, you got the Jonases, Hannah Montana, you know, the bunch of Mickey Mouse stuff here. We got the little Einsteins. You've got the, of course, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, uh, Phineas and Ferb. We got the Disney Junior Muppet Babies, uh, the Lion Guard. That's a fairly popular one with the kids nowadays. You got Adventures of Gummy Bears. You got Disney's version of Doug. So if you were into the Nickelodeon stuff but never saw the Disney stuff, you definitely want to check that out. Recess, I grew up watching this one, which was a great series. Same thing with the Mighty Ducks, because, of course, I'm a huge hockey fan. Got to love that one. Moving down here, you got some Nat Geo stuff, too. This stuff is kind of mixed in. So you've got a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, history stuff. you got a little bit of, uh, you know, wildlife stuff going on here. You've got a whole bunch of other kind of things. you got even some Gordon Ramsay here. And look at this. you got Goof Troop and Gargoyles. No, no, people haven't seen this stuff in forever. And it wasn't widely available. They didn't really post, like... All like the Goof Troop episodes anywhere. Like you had the DVD releases a long time ago, but most of it hasn't been seen since then. So it's really great to kind of see all this stuff again. Um, you know, like I said, I, I can't recommend it enough, at least right up here at the start. There's so much to check out. You can got the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. That one hasn't been seen in a while, but here's the big one that a lot of people are talking about, The Simpsons. So if you drill into The Simpsons, you literally have... 30 seasons from 1989 to 2018 you've got them all right here season one season two season three season four and it goes down and down and down and down and down it's all right here if you're a huge fan of the simpsons and you want to marathon it man disney plus is the way to go to marathon that entire series so uh yeah definitely check it out and uh go down to the rest of the series here you've got that so raven tailspin uh, the world according to Jeff Goldblum, and who doesn't want to know what the world is according to Jeff Goldblum? So, yeah. There you go. And then, of course, you can go down here into the originals uh, section right here. So these are all the original content uh, that is created right here for Disney+. Plus. And, of course, Star Wars The Mandalorian. That's the big one that everyone's talking about with Disney+. Plus. Everyone wants to check that one out. I want to check it out myself. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be doing that after I'm finished wrapping up this video. But you've got a couple of different stuff here. You've got... Uh, uh, Disney Pixar Forky asks the question, what is money? You've got the Imagineering story, uh, Marvel Hero Project, Pixar in real life. A couple different things here uh, that are going to be exclusive to Disney+. Plus. So highly recommended uh, checking these out as well. But uh, other than that, we've got the settings here. So we can drill into the settings. We can take a look at our account. We've got the help section. 
uh, legal section and, of course, to log out. The other fun thing as well is if we go over to the menu and we select our profile, we can actually add profiles. So you can go over here and you can add a profile. You can choose an icon. There's a whole bunch of different ones to choose from. So scrolling down the list, you've got the Mickey Mouse and Friends, you got Disney Classics, you got Princesses, Villains, Disney Channels, all of those cool ones right there. So you can go ahead and just select one right there, pick one. Let's just, we'll just go ahead and pick Vader. So we'll pick Vader right here. We can go ahead and change the profile name if we want to. We can change the icon again if we wanted to change it. Or we can make it a kids friendly profile and this basically makes it so it's content only suitable for kids. And uh, basically we'll go ahead and put in We'll just put invader so we put invader here and we select done and now we have the second profile so if we switch over to vader it's going to give us that kids interface right here so you're going to see all of the kid friendly stuff uh, advertised right on the top there you got the mickey mouse and friends princesses disney jr all that kind of stuff that uh, uh, parents can uh, basically just let their kids go wild and see all of the fun content and not necessarily have to worry about um, if it, it may be somewhat suggestive um, for the uh, the kids that are watching there. So a lot of fun stuff right here, and they've even got different categories uh, specifically for the kids. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this Disney Plus overview of the app for Xbox One. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick rundown to seeing all the different movies and series and originals uh, that are available in the Disney Plus app. Like I said, I am in the United States, and right now this costs $6.99 a month or $69.99 a year. It is available also in Canada and a few other regions as well. If you're interested in checking it out, you can go to DisneyPlus.com and check out all the details for that. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the walkthrough tour, please make sure to click that like button and consider subscribing for more great tutorials and videos just like this. I'm MonkeyDo22. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.